Thank you for joining me for this week's tiptoe tutorial on how the color purple reigns supreme. Let's get started, shall we? Here we go. Here we go. Now, before we get started, let's meet the cast of this week's episode. Clear polish, translucent glass, silver foil, silver glass, lilac glass, and purple foil. And then we have our purple gems, purple butterflies, translucent butterflies, and of course, the tweezers. So now we're going to start with applying our clear base coat to a set of medium length clear nails and we just do a nice thin coat in a random place of course and as you can see we have the infamous air pocket yeah, I know it's horrible. However, we're going to cover that baby up. Because I always say there's never mistakes when you are a creator. So, we're going to take some of our very delicate purple foil. And as you can see, delicate is an understatement. But, in that same little area that we discovered our air pocket it's disappeared and it's not there anymore at least virtually so then we're going to continue with putting more of the clear polish on and then we're going to put more purple foil on and we're going to continue in that rhythm putting it in random areas and placing it like so so then we're just going to continue with this and let's kind of get through this process quickly okay so here you guys are just noticing how i am very carefully placing the foil unused foil back in the container for future use Okay, now we have our translucent pieces, more like hologram pieces. They're very thin, so it's going to take probably a couple of um, double layered pieces in order for you to really see your design. But I just love them because they're so delicate and dainty and they just shimmer in the light. And I just really have fallen in love with these little things but like I said you have to put more than one piece on and layer it on top of each other in order for you to really see the design come to life so this is what I'm doing just carefully placing them where I have previously polished the um, clear nail polish so see how it kind of shines and glitters in the light. And we're going to just continue to put more on it until the entire design is complete. Yes, I am using this cuticle pusher for my shovel. Carry on. And there you have it. We've completed our first nail of our Purple Rain Supreme design. And now we're going to move on to the others. But of course, we need to clean up this little mess we've made. And as you guys are noticing this little makeshift tablecloth slash towel that I have underneath here, it's making it a little challenging to clean up, but 
it is the perfect backdrop for this week's design. I know I told you guys that we're going to move to the next nail. However, this is one of those times it's okay for me to be extra. So that being said, I think I'm going to go ahead and add some of these lilac glass pieces. And they're more like fiberglass actually where they are they have this little crisp feel to it and they're very very thin and when you layer them in the in a certain way on your nail it makes it look like liquid glass if that's a better description but one thing i do know that they are very very pretty so just like the translucent ones I am laying them on the nail in various places on top of each other. So it gives sort of like a three-dimensional look. Hmm, I feel like something is missing. Hmm, like I still need to maybe kick it up a notch. Bam! <laughs> Let's try something with a little silver in just a little bit. As you can see, that silver doesn't look like it wants to go on anyway. So maybe it's not meant for it to even be on this particular thing now. But nevertheless, let's just move right along. So we're gonna do an overlay of clear to actually seal in all the pieces. And of course, this also helps the design to last as long as possible about two weeks is the average lifespan but some of my designs have lasted about two and a half weeks so here we have our purple gems and we're going to use these to add to the supreme effect as you can see i just keep turning these things over and because it just aggravates me i have to clean up these little glass pieces that gets embedded into the little towel but nevertheless we are going to continue on Now, as if that wasn't tedious, here we are with the little purple gems. But they are so beautiful, so pretty. So we're gonna just simply take them out of the case and I like to sit them to the side so that I can easily pick them up, of course. So I'll just kind of scoop a few of them up and simply place them in different parts of the nail. Now what I like to do is put the purple gem right over the lilac section to give it a contrast. But of course you can do it however you're led to do it. Now isn't that beautiful? And then the little edge where you have the overlapping pieces onto your cuticle, you can always come later and trim that up. So, now we're going to move on to the next nail. We were able to cover up our little air pocket, which I really don't like to do. Air pockets are not good for your natural nail because it could promote infection. However, with this design, we will show what you can do with a mistake. We can cover anything up with embellishments. So now we're on to the ring finger and I'm just randomly placing different pieces. This time we're starting with the lilac pieces, the little translucent. Some of it have silver pieces and some have like a light 
purple piece. So now I'm going to slow up the pace a little bit since we're back at the purple foil and take this time to do my sharing because sharing is caring. And this is sharing of knowledge. For those of you who are movie buffs, in the title of this video, I paid homage to two great movies, The Color Purple and Purple Rain. But of course, I played on the word rain. In this particular instance, I am simply illustrating how The Color Purple reigns supreme. The color purple symbolizes many great things. First off, biblically, the color purple means royalty. In the Old Testament, the robe of King David was purple, represented his royal kingship. In the Gospels, it tells us how they took the robe and laid it on Jesus to mock his position as the risen king. And the color purple is the most powerful, visible wavelength of all the colors in the rainbow. Purple also represents strength, transformation, and power. And finally, the color purple in healing is used for mental disorders and also for becoming one with the spirit one that can read auras if they would see a purple aura surrounding someone it signifies higher spiritual development so the color purple reigns supreme Now, as you can see in a close-up, how the translucent contrasts so well against the clear. And we're going to continue on with our design. And now we're going to go to the index. As you can see, I've polished this with glitter just to give it a little bit of a different effect. And now after about two coats of glitter, we are going to embellish the index with just a few of the fiberglass pieces. You know what, guys? I think I'm going to take some of these off just to give the index a unique look and to allow the glitter to shine through from the foundation of the nail. Next up, 
Lupinki. I really like this polish. It's like a clear base coat with a million little pieces of happiness. Okay, here we're going to add just one layer of the base coat, clear base coat, and add a few purple gems. And it's all she'll need to coordinate with the others. Wow, isn't it pretty? A little can go a long way. Last but not least, the thumb. Now, the thumb is only going to take just a few coats of happiness. She doesn't need gems. She doesn't need fiberglass. She doesn't need foil. She wants to be a little simple with a whole lot of happiness. Now, even when things seem so magnificent. You still may find a few flaws here and there, but it's okay. Just go back over it and change it into what you want it to be. So this has been the color purple rain supreme. And always remember to be safe.